Hey what is up guys, welcome back to another Minecraft Java video. Today I'm going to show you guys how to download the Sodium Forge mod for Minecraft Java Edition. This is the Sodium port for Forge on Minecraft Java. For those of you who don't know, Sodium is actually a performance based mod and for a long time it was only available on the Fabric mod loader platform but now luckily we are able to use it with Forge. So for those of you who like to use Forge as your main mod loader then the good news is that we can now go ahead and use Sodium for Forge. I'm going to show you guys how to download and install the Sodium Forge mod for Minecraft Java Edition. I'm going to show you how to do it very quickly on the current Forge launcher which in my opinion is a much easier way of doing it and I'm also going to show you guys how to do it on the normal vanilla Minecraft launcher as well. So as you guys can see I am actually using the Sodium Forge mod at the moment and this version of Sodium has actually been ported of several previous versions of Sodium. Initially we had the Chlorine mod which was a port of Sodium for Forge and then we had another person who worked on that and they included the lithium and phosphor mods alongside sodium and now we've got the most up-to-date version of the sodium forge mod which has been updated quite recently and that is the version that I am using and I will show you guys how to download and install the sodium forge mod for Minecraft Java Edition and as you guys can see right now I am getting close to a thousand FPS and because I am actually recording at the moment my FPS is lower than what it should normally be but I was getting close to a thousand and slightly more than a thousand FPS in game and as you guys can see I am using a few different mods as well so as you guys can see I am actually now jumping on my bed I've also got some other mods such as the world map installed over here and I have also got the just enough items mod as well as you guys can see this is a forge only mod and thanks to sodium I am actually able to get close to a thousand FPS in my game and as you guys can see I've also got another mod here which tells me what blocks I am looking so on the top of my screen there I am able to see what kind of blocks I am looking at I have actually gone ahead and installed quite a few different mods into the game so let me just go back into the main menu and get rid of the FPS counter there so as you guys can see at the bottom left here it does say forge version 36.2.0 and at the bottom here it does say 157 mods loaded so I am thinking I might actually go ahead and make this mod pack for you guys so you can actually just go ahead and one click install this and enjoy this mod pack as you are seeing at the moment I will also show you guys how to download and install the sodium forge mod individually later on in this video so if we just go into our mod section here you can see that I have actually got quite a few different mods here so do let me know in the comment section below guys if you guys are interested in using this mod pack with these 157 or so mods and would you consider playing that or would you just use the single mod on its own there is another cool mod called quark on here or quark however you say that and if you click on this Q icon over here you can see that it has loads of different stuff over here this mod is quite cool and does give us a few different options as well which you guys can go ahead and play around with so let's go back into the game and i'll quickly show you what kind of fps i am getting inside the game using the sodium forge mod all right so as you guys can see i'm getting close to a thousand fps slightly more than a thousand fps i have actually gone ahead and disabled the v-sync but if you guys are playing this on a lower end system i would actually advise you to enable v-sync so you can get a constant 60 fps in your game so if you guys are trying this out and you are getting very high fps and you are experiencing lag spikes so i would highly recommend that you turn on your v-sync to avoid the lag spikes and to give you a constant and more smoother gameplay so i'm going to show you guys how to download and install the sodium port for forge today i'm also going to show you how to download and install forge for minecraft java edition and then how to install the sodium forge mod for Minecraft Java Edition. As I mentioned earlier, there are two different ways of doing it. One of them is actually to do it via the CurseForge application. So you can actually download the CurseForge launcher and then just one click install the Sodium Forge mod, or you can do it manually as well on the vanilla Minecraft launcher. So let me go ahead and show you guys how to download and install the Sodium Forge mod for Minecraft Java Edition. 
All right, so as I mentioned earlier, the easiest way to actually install and try this out is to use the Curse Forge Launcher client. I have done a video of how to actually download and install the Curse Forge client launcher and how to set everything up. And I will leave a link in the description for that video. I will also leave a link in the description for all of the downloads that I am going to show you guys today. So let's open up the Curse Forge launcher first of all, and I'll quickly show you how to easily download and try out this Sodium Forge mod for Minecraft Java. All right, so once the Curse Forge launcher has loaded, you will see a screen like this. And if you click on the Minecraft section, you should see a section like this that says My Mod Packs and then Browse Mod Packs. And what you want to do is click on this bit here that says Create Custom Profile. And we want to create a Forge Mod Loader profile. And the version we need to select is actually 1.16.5 because the Sodium Forge mod is only available on that version at the moment. I'm not sure if they are going to release it for 1.17, but at the moment, if you guys do want to try out the Sodium Forge mod, then you would have to use this version. And in my opinion, it is a stable version and worth trying if you guys are getting low FPS in your game. So let's go ahead and give this a name. Let's just call it a number one profile name and then just click on create. So that should create a version 1.16.5 forward installation over here. Right click on the icon here, click on view profile and then click on add more content. And the mod is actually called Halogen. So just search for that and we should see a mod that says Halogen over here and just click on install. And it's really easy. It's a one click install and it's done and let's go back and now as you guys can see it now has installed halogen and in the file name we can see it says sodium forge and it's version 2.9.10 all right so let's go back we can now actually launch the game using the installer there it will actually launch the default minecraft launcher so you will have to click on play and then just wait for that to load us into the game as i mentioned earlier i am actually in the process of creating a mod pack but I haven't actually finalized that. So do let me know in the comment section below if you guys do want to see a completed version of that mod pack to try out. So as you guys can now see that, if I click on the mod section over here, let me just get rid of this FPS counter. So we've got Minecraft, we've got Sodium, Reforged, and we've got the Forge mod loader as well. Let me now show you guys how to download and install Forge and the Sodium Forge mod for the basic Minecraft launcher. Let's click on quit and exit out of this. To actually install Forge, we do need to install Java and make sure that we have got Java installed because the Forge installer is a jar file and we do need Java to open that up. So if we go into our internet browser, just search for Java JDK and then type in 17, you should see a oracle.com link somewhere over here let's click on java downloads over here and let's go to the windows section because i am on a windows machine and let's download the x64 installer so i'm going to click on this file and wait for the download to finish all right so as you guys can see the java jdk file has finished downloading the next file i'm going to download is forge so let's close this down and in your search bar just type in minecraft forge and search for that and the main website we need to go to is actually files.minecraftforge.net so let's go into this website here which is the main forge website and we actually need to download forge for version 1.16.5 so click on the drop down here for 1.16 click on 1.16.5 and the version we need to actually download is this one which is the 36.2.0 so 36.2.0 and it says download recommended so click on the installer link over here it will come up with a please wait message on the top right here and once that is finished you need to click on skip and then that should start the download so let's click on that and as you guys can see it's now started the download for forge all right let's go ahead and keep that file and the next file we need to download is obviously the sodium forge mod so let's close this down let's go into the curse forge website which is curseforge.com and click on minecraft and then click on mods to go into the mod section and then just search for halogen over here and we should see a halogen in the search results click on that and then go to files making sure that we are downloading this for the correct version which is 1.16.5 as you guys can see it was actually 
updated quite recently so it was updated on the 2nd of august 2021 so we can see that the sodium forge halogen mod is being worked on and has been updated quite recently all right let's click on download and start the actual download for this all right so as you guys can see it's now finished the sodium forge download as well so what i'll do now is i'll place all of these files on my desktop and i'll show you guys how to install them all right, so I've placed all of the files on my desktop and the first thing I'm going to do now is actually open up this Java JDK installer because I do need to install this to actually be able to open up the Forward installer. If you guys haven't actually got Java installed, you won't be able to open up the Forward installer jar file. So do make sure that you do install Java and it'll make your lives so much easier. So I'm now going to double click on this file. As you guys can see, I'm now getting a message that says this software has already been installed on your computer. Would you like to reinstall it? I'm going to select yes. And I'm just going to quickly go through the whole process again and just click on next and choose the default options there. All right, so let's just wait for that to finish and I'll be right back. All right, so as you guys can see, it now says Java has been successfully installed. Now we can click on close and you can actually go ahead and move this file out of the way or just delete it. Depends on what your preference is. Okay, so now we can actually go ahead and double click on the forward installer jar file and it should open up the forge installer so you should get a mod system installer for forge and as you guys can see it says welcome to the simple forge installer version 1.16.5 forge 36.2.0 and making sure that install client is selected here click on ok and that should start the installation process all right so as you guys can see it now says successfully installed forge and we can now click on close and we can now delete this file as well you will notice a log file was created as well so let's go ahead and delete that as well and the next file we now need to install is the sodium forge mod which is also a jar file we do need to move this file into a specific folder and to do that just open up your default minecraft launcher and let's just wait for that to load up now once your launcher has loaded up you will notice that it does say forge on the bottom left here in the drop down section click on installations you should also see a line that says forge version 1.16.5 all right so just hover over any of the lines in this section click on the folder icon as i'm showing you right now that should open up your minecraft default directory close down the launcher and now we can go into the mod section which is a folder over here if you don't have a folder called mods right click on the empty space click on new click on folder and then just rename it to mods okay let's go inside the mods folder as you guys can see currently this folder is empty and what i'll do is i'll drag this sodium forge mod file the jar file into the mods folder so inside your mods folder you should have the sodium forge version 2.9.10 jar file if you guys put the sodium forge file anywhere else then it won't work it needs to be in the mods folder all right let's close this down and let's open up the minecraft launcher again all right so now that we have installed sodium forge halogen mod for minecraft java we can actually go ahead and launch the game using forge so you've got two options you can either make sure that forge is selected in the drop down over here click on play or we can go into installations and hover over forge and then click on play over here so let's do that and let's wait for the game to now load up when the game does load up for the first time you will notice the forge messages pop up on here so don't worry about all of these messages that you are seeing on the screen it's basically loading us into the game all right let's maximize this window and now at the bottom left here you can see it says forge 36.2.0 for minecraft 1.16.5 and it does say three mods loaded i can now click on the mods button over here and it does say minecraft it says minecraft reforged which is the sodium forge version and you can read up about this as well as you guys can see it says sodium is a free and open source optimization mod for minecraft which improves frame rates and reduces lag spikes so people who were using the fabric mod loader were able to enjoy this but now thanks to this mod we are able to enjoy it on the forge platform as well obviously it will mention forge as well over here in the list of mods so click on done we can actually now go inside a game let's go into this world that i did create earlier once it does launch the game it will take a few seconds for sodium to kick in so don't panic if you are unable to see any high fps immediately but after the few seconds it does actually kick in and give you a really nice boost so as you guys can see i am getting close to 1500 1500 fps 
on my screen right now and this is without any other mods or texture resource packs this is the basic vanilla game i have actually gone ahead and set everything to low so let me just quickly show you guys i have actually set everything to the lowest on here and set all of the quality settings to the lowest as well one thing i would recommend is that if you go to advanced do make sure that you tick this box which says use leaves culling and that should give you some more fps boost as well as you guys can see it says if enabled leaves that are not in the direct view will be culled this can result in an fps boost at the cost of visual quality so if you guys don't really care about what the leaves look like then you can go ahead and enable that and you should get some slightly more fps boost in your game so as you guys can see i'm getting 1500 fps there in my game obviously if i do move around it will dip and it may also dip slightly more if there are other npcs or other player models in front of me but it is more than a thousand fps and i am happy with that obviously if you guys are seeing that you are getting lag spikes where it goes up and down quite frequently and the computer system is a bit jerky or because of the lag spikes you are seeing stuttering then do make sure that you enable vsync so go into your video settings and then just click on use vsync over here another interesting thing is that the sodium version of forge that we have actually installed today comes with an fps counter so that is quite cool so we can actually click on this fps counter button here click on apply and we should be able to see the fps on the top left there of the screen obviously i have got vsync enabled now so it is showing me a constant 60 fps and that should give me a nice and smoother gameplay if i was to disable the vsync and untick that box i will get high fps so you guys can see us now going closer to 1700 1700 fps which is quite insane but i do think that the sodium port for forge actually is very nicely done i am getting some nice fps in my game and i am able to now enjoy all of the other forge mods that I was not able to enjoy while using fabric so if you guys are missing any of the forge mods then I would highly recommend that you try out this sodium port of the sodium forge mod for minecraft java edition one thing to note is that optifine would not be compatible with this port of sodium essentially they both would be doing the same thing and interfering with the game's engine that gives us the performance boost so you guys can go ahead and just use forge and optifine you can go ahead and do that on the latest current release which is 1.17.1 however if you guys are looking to get a fps boost or optifine is not working as intended then you can go ahead and try out the sodium forge mod like i am showing you guys today and try that out but just bear in mind that optifine would not work in this case so it's either a case of deciding to use optifine or sodium forge mod one thing to note is that you will lose out on the ability to use shaders but then again if you are using this mod to increase your fps using shaders may not be such a good idea because when you do use shaders your fps does take a massive hit so if you guys are getting low fps i would recommend don't use shaders and definitely do give this sodium forge mod a go unfortunately it's not available on version 1.17.1 however on version 1.16.5 it is really stable and i do think we are able to get some nice fps as you guys can see i'm getting close to 1700 1800 fps now in my game and it's really playable and i would highly recommend that you guys give this one a go if all of the other options have failed hopefully you guys have found this video useful if you have please do give us a like if you have any comments or queries about how to install forge for minecraft java edition or how to install the halogen sodium forge mod on minecraft java edition do leave them in the comment section below as i mentioned earlier it's not available for version 1.17.1 at the moment do also let me know if you guys are interested in that mod pack which i did show you guys earlier which will contain sodium forge mod for minecraft java edition as well as more than 150 mods for forge on minecraft java edition and i will go ahead and make a release of that sometime soon and make a video about that one as well also please do subscribe to this channel to help support to help it grow and i'll see you guys next time thank you for watching